Hello friends. This is our first video in the pharmacology subject. So here we have planned to briefly explain about the basic introduction of the pharmacology. Let's start the basic introduction of the pharmacology. So I said here we is the briefly explain the introduction of the pharmacology. So we have to know what is pharmacology. The term of the pharmacology is derived from the Greek words, the pharmacon and the logos, all together known as the pharmacology. What is pharmacon and what is logos? The pharmacon means drugs. The logos means the study. So we can know the pharmacology is the study of the drugs. So it is a definition of the pharmacology. It is a science that deals with the study of the drugs. Here, the therapeutic effect of the drugs, side effect of the drugs, absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion of the drugs, adverse effect of the drugs, and the route of administration of the drugs. These are the things considered under the study of the drugs. I already said the study of the drug is the pharmacology. So now we will see what is drugs. Here I have mentioned the word pro. It is the Greek word indicate the rifle. Because in the ancient time, most of the drugs are prepared from the rifle. Now we will see the definition of the drugs. It is a substance used to treat, prevent, diagnose a disease. So we are using the drugs for the treatment purpose. For example, we are using the paracetamol to relieve from the pain. Nowadays, we all have got the vaccine to prevent from the corona. Not only treat prevent the disease, but also in the diagnosis purpose also we are using the drugs. For example, in certain eye disease, we are using the atrophin to dilate the people. Now we will see the another example which is given by the WHO. Any substance or product that used to modify the physiological system or pathological state for the benefit of the recipient. Here, drugs are going to act the physiological system, modify the physiological activity. The drug does not change the physiological activity. Here, the drugs are modify the physiological activity. Either it increases the physiological activity or decreases the physiological activity. For example, the during formation in the healthy person, it is a 1.5 liter per day. The prusimide is a drug used at the diuretic. So it is increased the formation of the urine. So it is increased the physiological activity. So it's all about the drugs. Now we are going to know about the pharmacokinetics. So, what is pharmacokinetics? What the body does to the drug? It means how our body handles the drugs. After administration of the drugs, the drugs undergo many changes in our body. These are included in the pharmacokinetics. So, it deal with commonly we all are said like a admin. It means a mean absorption, D mean distribution, M mean metabolism, E mean excretion. So, deal with the absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion of the drugs, it is comes under the pharmacokinetics. Here I have mentioned this for the further knowledge. Now we will see one by one. Now we will see the absorption of the drug. Entry of the drugs from the site of administration to circulation, it is known as the absorption. After the administration of the drug, the drugs are absorbed from the body to reach the target area. Now we will see the factors that are affecting the absorption of the drugs. 
the factors are solubility of the rocks, physical state of the rock, local condition, concentration of the rock, circulation, and the surface area. We will see one by one. Solubility of the rocks. We all know the cell membrane is made by the phospholipid. So the lipid soluble rocks are more rapidly absorbed than the water soluble rock. Physical state of the rock. The rocks having a different different form like a solid form, the gases form, like in the liquid form. The liquid form is more rapidly absorbed than the solid form. In the local condition, we will see one example. The example has the aspirin. The aspirin is the non-selective Fox inhibitor. It has the anal analgesic effect. So it is used as the pain killer. It is used in the dull aching pain. So the aspirin is insoluble in the acidic gastric medium. So the absorption of the aspirin is reduced by the this acidic medium. Now we will see the concentration of the rocks. High concentration of the rocks are absorbed more rapidly than the low concentration of the rocks. Now we will see the circulation. Increasing the circulation at the site of absorption will increase the absorption. And surface area. Increased surface area will increase the absorption. For example, in the cell, in the cell mucosa and the pulmonary alveoli epitheliums. It's all about the absorption. Now we will see the distribution of the rocks. Transport of the rocks to the site of action after absorption. It is known as the distribution. After the absorption only, the rocks are distributed to various parts of the body. So Rocks can easily pass through the cell membrane and achieve wide distribution. Here, rocks which don't pass through the cell membrane are limited in their distribution. In the entry of the rocks into the central nervous system, it is limited by the barrier. It is known as blood-brain barrier. As well as the entry of the rocks into the fetal circulation, it is restricted by the barrier. It is known as the blood placenta barrier. Now we will see the metabolism of the rock. Alteration of the rocks in a living organism, it is known as the rock metabolism. Otherwise, this is also known as the biotransformation of the rocks. So here in this process, the rocks may either be inactivated or more active component. Commonly, we can consider the three types of metabolism. The first one is the inactivation of the active rock. Second one is the conversion of the active rock to another active substance prolong the rock action. For example, diamorphine is converted as the morphine. The morphine is the opioid analgesic. It used to treatment in the, it used as a painkiller. So we can use it in the treatment of the pain. The third one is the activation of the inactive rocks. For example, pro rocks, it is not itself active but the metabolism is active. Now we will see the factors which are affecting the metabolism of the rocks. Now we will see the factors, the age, sex, nutrition and disease, genetic factors and the temperature. Now we will see one by one how the factors are affecting the metabolism of the rocks. In the age, the young children have the low metabolic power because of the poor development of the rock metabolism enzyme. In the sex, female have less ability to metabolize drugs. In the nutrition and disease, the, commonly the metabolism is take place in the liver. So if any disease which are occur in the liver and the malnutrition, it affects the metabolism of the drugs. It means mostly it decreases the metabolism of the drugs. In the genetic factor, deficiency in the rocks metabolism in the enzyme can be inherited. Now we will see how the, how the temperature is affected the metabolism. So increasing in body temperature, it lead to increase the rock metabolism. Likewise, decreasing body temperature, it lead to decrease the rock metabolism.
now we will see the final component in the pharmacokinetic it is the excretion of the rock or otherwise elimination of the rocks rocks may be excreted in the active or inactive form the elimination of the rocks decreases duration of the action it means some rocks are eliminated through the body rapidly so it carries the short duration of the action the elimination of the rock the elimination of the rock is most important because if the rocks are accumulated in the body it will lead to toxic effect in the body so the elimination is most important the rocks can be eliminated through the kidney lung skin intestine bile milk and saliva most of the rocks are eliminated through the kidney in the form of the urine in some drugs like a volatile general anesthesia for example calathon it is eliminated through the lungs in some drugs like a arsenic and mercury are eliminated through the skin these are the heavy metals in some drugs like a percative lug like a senna it is eliminated through the large intestine the pinothalin is eliminated through the bile the pethidine is eliminated through the milk the pethidine is a synthetic substitute of the obm alkali so it has the analgesic effect it does to relieve from the pain here the milk is more acidic than the plasma so base drugs are eliminated through the milk the saliva also some drugs are eliminated these are iodate and the metallic salt it's all about the excretion the final thing is the pharmacodynamic so we have to know what is pharmacodynamic what drug does to the body so it indicate the mode of action and the effect of the drugs in the body most of the drugs act by interfering with the cellular function so the mode of the action is action on the cell membrane action between the cells action outside the cell these are the mode of action it's all about the basic introduction of the pharm pharmacology the under the basic introduction of the pharmacology we have see what is pharmacology the what is the drugs what is pharma pharmacokinetics and the, what are the contents of the pharmacokinetics and what is the pharmacodynamics these are the things we have explained thank you